this is always just an interesting one to ask, but I don't think we'll linger too long on the whole rating thing. Will you be better looking in 10 years time, starting with you, as compared to now? Probably not. What about you? You're 20, will you be better at 30? I hope so. Better looking at (laughs) I hope so. (laughs) Yeah, but you hope so, but what do you uh, think? Better looking at 40? Shit, probably not. (laughs) What about you? You're 21, better looking at 31? At 31? Or are you better looking now? Depending on what, ooh, mm, see, that's such a hard question. I'd hope I look better at 31. That's true. I, like, observe how women grow, and they seem to kind of grow into, like, this, like, I'm looking at you, and you seem like you've grown into your womanhood now that you've aged a bit. Thank you. I think I'll be... What about 41? 41? Probably not. But you will be more attractive at 31 as compared to now at 21. What about you? I'd be more attractive at 30, but not at 40. Okay. What about you? I don't think I will. No. What about you? No. As much as I would want to, I don't think so. Okay. No. And then you're 31. Do you think you're more attractive at 21 than you are now at 31? Yes. More attractive at 21? Yeah, I was more attractive at Mm -hmm. 21. All right. What about you? You're 18. Do you think you'll be better looking at 28 versus now? Yeah. 38 versus now? No. 38 versus 28? No. Okay. What about you? Morgan? Me? 28, yeah. Okay. 38? No. Okay. What about you? No. Not better looking. You're 29, not better looking at 39? Correct. I'm better looking now. Are you more attractive to men now as opposed Mm -hmm. to when you were 19? That's a good way to phrase it. Do you think if we took 1,000 men Mm -hmm. now and 1,000 men back then, do you think they would be more attracted to you now or when you were 19? The men would be more attracted to the 19-year-old. Okay. Mm -hmm. If there were 1,000 men, do you think they'd be more attracted to you now or how you looked at 19? 19. Yeah, okay. Why? So, but you believe you're better looking now, though, despite this? I do. Okay. I think All I right. take better care of myself now mm-hmm. than I did at 19. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Awesome. Relationship be 50 50. No. Wait, there's one I Do you like. believe in gender equality? You wanted to. Do you believe. In equality. Mm-hmm. This is one you wanted to pose for the table? Mm hmm. Do you believe in equality? Mm-hmm. Let's come back to that later. Okay. Let's see. Relationship be 50 50. We already talked on that. Uh, you said you disagree with the host on any, on anything, but maybe thinking that all women are whores. What? Where uh, did you get that one? No, because not all women. No, I know, but like sixty percent of women. No. <laughs> would that would that be a biased thing to say that sixty percent of women are whores? If that's what you think. Then that's what you think. It wouldn't, but you wouldn't object to it. You wouldn't be like, well, that's a bit excessive. If that's the experiences you had, then no, I don't object to it. <laughs> okay. We're doing a callback here, Andrew, where she said 60% of men would, in, in the bear, man, bear thing, would, would opt to victimize. So she said essentially like 80 to 90 million men in the United States would choose to murder Impossibly, or essay a woman, yeah. essentially. Mm-hmm. And then it was 50, oh. 30, 50% for the rest of the girls here. So it's a lot, a lot of, 80 million men, it's a lot of men. But we, I don't know if you want to, no, nah, okay, let's get through the pre-show notes here. All right. Oh, going back to Aaliyah, you said your now husband dated your sister. Yes, in high school, 16 years ago. Oh. It was their high school relationship. That's crazy. Nice. Did they? Uh, <laughs> were they did they? Boink? Did, they, they, did, they did they? Did they boink? They did. <gasps> Me and him did. discuss that, too. Me and him discuss a lot of things. So. Has he ever told you, Because we've been you, like, best friends for, like, 16 years. No. No. He, he told me I'm better. I mean, of course. Well, I mean, he he's gonna. Uh, yeah. Wait, what's your sister think? I mean, I don't so really talk to her about what me and him talk about. So, like at the wedding. Oh no, she's fine with it. She's moved on. She has a kid with somebody else. I mean, she's doing great. She's moved on. It's crazy. So. All right. Interesting. You said, is it spiteful to be eye for an eye? in a relationship, so if someone isn't giving what the other gives, is it wrong or ingenuine to step back? So this is, like, is this like about like oral sex, basically? No, it's, it's more about the 50-50 thing. Oh, okay. I the gutter. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they're not giving you what they once were giving you, mm-hmm. is it spiteful to step back and kind of reevaluate the relationship mm-hmm. and not give your all because they're not giving their all anymore? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. All right. Mm. That's what that. Fair enough. Age gap relationships. Oh. You said 15 years and more is gross or gross. It is double standard to... Oh, that's a different... Oh, hold on. Okay, so we'll, we'll touch on the age gap stuff. You said 10 to 15 years is pushing it. Sorry, but it gives me the ick. Yep. Mm-hmm. All I think I about, it it's weird. Me- pro, uh, you say it's weird, gives you the ick, and that it, it's pushing it and it's gross. So you've been, the in, reason- uh, you've been in one of those relationships, haven't you? Yes, actually I have. Mm-hmm. I was underage dating someone that was five years older than me. Now looking back on it, it is gross. To me, it, that gave the P vibe. If you know what I'm saying. What it, about the 18-year-olds engaging in an age well, gap relationship? The way I'm looking at it is bigger age gaps, like 10 to 15 years. Yeah. Uh, so I'm looking at, and I know this is wrong. My husband even agrees that the way I look at this is wrong. If you've been with someone, let's say they're 10 years younger than you, I just look back at the fact that you were 10 years old and they were a baby. To me, I just see that as kind of gross. But that's where I was going with that. How come it doesn't give you incest vibes that you could be dating somebody who's the same age as your brother? That's a good question. Oh, well, I, I don't see how it doesn't. If it gives you the vibe, so what you're doing, you're saying, how could you date somebody that young? Maybe that's a, that could be your daughter. That could be, this is where you're going with this, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, if that is the case, then how come it doesn't give you incest to date somebody around your own age? They could be your brother. They could be, right? Yeah. I can see that. So I don't even understand the argument. It makes, it literally makes no sense to me. If you date a woman who's 15 years younger than you and you say, well, that's like dating your daughter. Okay, well, then if you date a man who's three years older than you, that's like dating your brother. Does that even make sense to you? It's a completely nonsensical uh, worldview. It makes no sense whatsoever. And I said that. I said I was projecting. (coughs) Yeah. So. I'm just letting you know, right? Yeah. It's like, it's it's just nonsense. Yeah, you make a valid point. I, I already know that I'm projecting. I already said it. It's just how I feel. Okay. So it just gives you the ick. Yep. Literally, it gives, gives me the ick. Well, what if okay. a woman wants that? Like, let's say an 18-year-old is trying to get with a 40-year-old, like women do sugar daddies or whatever. What if that's the situation? It's She's cougars. pursuing him. Yeah. Is that I, I still think, a sugar I baby still think it's gross. Huh? Do you pursue the man in the whole sugar baby situation? I don't know. I've never done it. <laughs> I've been approached to be a sugar baby, but they've always just, like, hopped in my DMs. And I'm like, you're probably fake. Because I know, well, I'm not friends with them anymore, but back when I first was in college, I knew women would go on apps to literally look for that. Yeah, I'm not surprised that there are apps that, like, yeah. hold it. But I don't think I've ever seen, mm-hmm. like, an 18-year-old 18 18 approach a 40-year-old and try and do that. I've always seen the opposite, like... Mm. I've always seen men approaching women. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, let me give you a personal anecdote. So I'm 35. Uh, I've had multiple women who are like 19, 20, 21 slide into my DMs. Did somebody say ew? Yeah, but they're like fresh out of high school. And that's like... If you're 19, you're in college, finishing uh, your... True. Starting your... Sophomore. So you think it should be criminalized then? No. I said they were they were DMing me. <laughs> so they're interested in him. Well, like let's look at some like really successful uh, older men, um, mm-hmm. like Henry Cavill, Ryan Reynolds. You don't think like 19, 20, 21 year old women aren't attracted to these men? Not Leo, who only Leonardo dates DiCaprio, yeah. Until they're 25. <laughs> My fiance is 10 years older than me. But does it still give you the ick if the woman's the initiator? It is kind of weird, like. Why are you trying to date someone that's so much older? older I don't know. Does it give you as much of the ick? Maybe a little bit. It, maybe a little less. But, it, yeah, it's still a little gross, in my opinion. Why? Why is it gross? I don't know. It just comes back to, like, when you I were... I got the ick. Yep. It gave me the ick. And I don't like that shit because it gave me the ick, right? That's yeah. what it comes down, down to, really, right? Yeah. I actually want to tackle this from a different <laughs> perspective. So let me just grant you all that it's icky, gross, creepy, predatory, whatever. Make an actual compelling argument in terms of the benefits to the man for why he should date, for example, a 35-year-old over a 25-year-old. Make an actual compelling argument to the benefits to the man. 
I mean, there's not really a benefit for the man. Okay. I'm open to hearing from the rest of the panel. Does sure. maturity also sometimes come with baggage and trauma and you're less mm -hmm. good looking? Yes. Okay, so do you think maturity, the benefit of maturity is going to outweigh 10 years of aging? Mm -mm. No. In terms of a woman's beauty? No. But she's more fertile wants, when she's And actually, younger. the reality is this whole trope of older women being more mature, there's plenty of young women who are mature and plenty of older of women, old who, are women who are incredibly immature. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. true. It's not like you turn 30 and all of a sudden you're not toxic, you're not a piece of shit, you're mm -hmm. not a pain in the ass to deal yeah. with. All this shit, it, it stays and it gets worse mm -hmm. a lot of times. Mm -hmm. If you have like any sort of mental illness, that shit gets worse as you get older. Oh, absolutely. It's 100% true. Mm -hmm. Some of the worst women I know are old ladies, yeah. bro. <laughs> They're fucking old ladies. They're Karens. We've had, me and Andrew have encountered them on the show. God damn, bro. Oh, yeah. if, if me and Andrew get into an argument with like a 22 year old and we disagree or whatever, <coughs> it ends at the show. Some of these older women want to have a fucking vendetta for months because there was a disagreement. For real? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a joke. Yeah, I ain't they'll, joking they'll, around. They're, they're, they, 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 they create spy dossiers, no joke. Little spy dossier. It's it's insane how this goes because there was an adversarial conversation. Yeah. So it's understood that pressing some of these issues on us or back on you guys in an adversarial way can be uncomfortable. But that doesn't mean it comes from a place of bad will or meanness or cruelty. It just means that dating in modernity is adversarial. And so the questions that are asked around it are super uncomfortable often. And having to actually think about why it is that you believe what you do is also uncomfortable sometimes. I still have not heard a compelling reason why a man should date a 35-year-old woman over a 25-year-old woman. Then why should they be barred from dating younger women if you can't even make a compelling argument to the contrary? I think the only argument that there could be made is that if he actually can't have kids and the woman already has kids and he wants to share with those kids. How common of a scenario is that? Exactly. So I think what she's trying to say, like the only reason yeah. why a 30, like a 35 year old man would pick a 35 year old woman yeah. over a 25 year old woman, the 35 year old woman is more likely to have children than the 25 what? year old. And if he's infertile, his only chance to have children would be through no. adopting. No, I don't so, think no, that's what she's no, saying, Brian. No, 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 no. No, I'm saying that he's infertile and the only reason a man would even be with a woman that is older if she has kids and he couldn't have kids. And no, that she's inferring something totally different here. I'm just saying the only reason a man would probably be with a woman is if she has kids and he literally cannot have kids and he loves these kids and he'd be like, all right, I want to be with this woman. Okay, well, then is that, that is what Brian was saying. I thought you were going somewhere totally yeah, different, I'm but sorry. Brian was totally right. That's exactly what I'm he was sorry. saying. I'm sorry. W. Yeah, that is a W. Brian L. Andrew. W. Brian. Because, um, yeah, that was W. Brian. Uh, okay. He takes it on that one. Well, I think, do you feel it's gross because the man's predatory? Is that it? It's predatory? It's okay, a big he's, word. He's, he's 31, she's 21. I think that's a stereotype. I, I don't see. I think years. it's just like an age from like 18 to 20. Yeah. That it it's still kind of it's still on the cusp of being what's that really you don't close touch eighteen to twenty year olds they're still teenage like eighteen and nineteen that's well, still teenager a tw you're not a teenager if you're twenty you're still more prone to doing bad and making bad decisions than you would so if you're should older. eighteen to twenty year old women not be able to vote no I think it's all out Wait, the window so when you clear, turn eighteen they can join I mean, the military they can buy a firearm they can get five figures six figures of student loan debt, they can sign legally binding contracts, and they can vote, but they can't make a determination as to having a consensual romantic and sexual relationship with a man who's a bit older than her? I didn't say they can't. I said your, what I mean is more your responsibility as an older adult is to just not seek that. Because if you're like, Overhear it, like, well, because I'm. So you said 31 and 21. Sure. 10 years to me is like whatever. That's fine. Okay. So 30, like the 35 and 20. 15 years. 35 and 20. Yeah, let's let's say that that's it. I mean, 15 years. That's still slightly weird to me. 
I don't know why you can't just find someone your own age. That yeah, just kind of goes for anyone. A man is motivated to date a younger woman because fertility. she's... Because she, she's pretty. It's, no, it's not No, pre- it's fertility. It's, not, it's literally she can bear his children. She has a higher chance of success of carrying a successful pregnancy. Can a 31-year-old woman not do that? Her chances of success decline rapidly yeah. when she hits 30. They decline, but they're, it's not impossible. No, they can still get pregnant. But yeah. It's not like you're just completely poof. Well, I think perhaps the argument is, I mean, there's a biological basis for this beyond just the actual, like, I don't think a man intellectualizes Mm -hmm. she's fertile, but because men are programmed to find fertility attractive, they will find more youthful, for example, more youthful adult women attractive. Huh? For me, I think it's just they think younger women are sexier. I mean, that's what I've heard from nothing but men. It's like, yeah. I don't object to that. Yeah, they're more physically attractive. Yeah, and that's just weird to me. Why is it weird? What do you think attraction is for? Why do you think men and women are attracted to each other? What do you think the, the ultimate purpose of that well, would be? Well, like, I'm just thinking if you're attracted to an 18-year-old, what's mm-hmm. to say that that attraction can't then bend to a 17-year-old? What do you think men and women are attracted to each other for? What is the purpose of, from an evolutionary standpoint of them being attracted to each other? What is the purpose of that? For procreation and pleasure for, for procreation right well it wouldn't be I mean it's a pleasurable act but the purpose of the act itself would not be for pleasure it would be for procreation right but isn't that the primary edict is to reproduce mm-hmm. so if that is true then why wouldn't it be true that through this kind of evolutionary model that men would be the most attracted to women who had the highest likelihood of being able to reproduce. Those women are going to be between about the ages of 18 and 26, right in that window. That makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I also so, then, so then not only would it not be weird, wouldn't it be a, like almost a biological certainty <laughs> like that most men would be attracted to women who were between 18 and 26 more than any other kind of group of women? Sure, maybe it'd be a certainty, yeah. but I mean, then why not just find that person when you are that age? Mm. Yeah, well, I mean, but we're talking about attraction, right? You still find those people attractive at that age when you're the same age? Yeah, no, I, I get it, but what's actually the problem? Why if not? the opposite is true, so it wouldn't it also make sense from an evolutionary standpoint that women would find men who are older to be attractive because they would associate this with a wider array array of survival. I've dated a younger guy where I had that experience where I was like, oh, you're actually like kind of the same age as my brother. And I was just like, that's icky, thanks. So I backed off. So if you had a twin brother, you're basically screwed over if you date anybody your own age. I'd date (laughs) someone older. (laughs) I'd date someone maybe like a year or so older. That's fine, but like why not? How would that not be? Couldn't you have a brother who was only a year older? I mean, yeah, you could have a brother who's only a year older, then date two years older, date three years older, date... Yeah, but I don't understand why that's necessary. Like, why would that be something which is even necessary? If you're attracted to a guy who's three years older than you and you have a brother that's three years older than you, who gives a shit? Why would that even be problematic? I also think that a lot of... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let oh, her answer, sorry. let her answer. Sorry. I mean, I don't know why it would be problematic, but, like, just for me, personally, I felt like it was problematic because, like, I don't know, my brother's younger and he's, like, two years younger, so it just felt weird for me to, like be with someone who was the same age as my little brother. I don't know. Okay, so I, I get, I understand from your personal perspective, it gets you the ish. Ginger donated, my husband and I just got married Wednesday and there is a 27 year age gap. We have been together for six years. Honestly, nothing is weird about it. We gotta pull no, it up. I agree with that. You're both consenting adults. Like, you're free to do what you want to do. But I me mean, personally, I just wouldn't do it because I think it's... Let me read. And I think that that's fine, right, for you to have the that feeling. But I just want to know whether or not this is just a feeling and it's just the ick and you actually don't have any compelling reason why people shouldn't do it other than for you personally, it's just kind of icky. I think for me personally, it's just kind of icky. But then also... I was thinking more of like, you guys were saying like a 10 to 15 year age gap, which I feel like is more acceptable. And like, 
I don't know. I was definitely thinking more. Like a 20-year-old and a seven-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more someone like my dad's age. Yeah, who's like above 75. 75, sorry, dad. Not that he's going <laughs> to see this. And okay, like well, I'm willing age. to engage with that too. Why would it actually be a problem if somebody your age was somebody your dad's age? Why would that actually be a problem? I, that would be such an issue for me. I wouldn't want to have a stepmom the same age as me. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I get that you find it icky. I'm asking, though, how it would actually Why be can't problematic. Why can't you just marry someone your own age? Why can't you just marry someone your own age? I mean, again, because unless you fell in love with somebody who wasn't your own age. Mm. That's why. <laughs> but is it actually love or is it just attraction? I mean, is that even a concern of yours? Doesn't Sorry. love require attraction? Yeah. But yeah, assuming even that they were just boinking, they were just having sex, right? What would your objection to that to even be? I know about it. I'd prefer to just not know about it. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't want to know about it, but what would the objection to it be? I think, honestly, I think it would be worse off if he was just seeking attraction from her than, like, actual love. I feel like I'd be more supportive if they were actually in love and, like, <clears throat> had, like, actual love for each other that I could observe in, like, a way similar to, like, you know, kind of how, like, my mom and dad have love that I observe. You know, like, there are things that you observe that make love evident in a relationship. I think seeing that would make me more supportive if they were actually, but, yeah, they're just boinking. That would bother me more. Okay. I got a couple questions. Purely just because I think it's, it's just icky. And, I mean, like, I think that may just go back to me having, like, sexual assault trauma from my person who did that for me when I was Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm age. not, I'm not going to dive into the trauma, right? No. I just wanted to know if the answer was because it's icky. I think, A, yeah, just because I think it's icky, and I just don't think it's... It's just harder... It's harder for me to view it as real and, like, genuine, you know? What The relationship? Well, yeah. I mean, like, I... I mean, unless there's, like, actual, like I was saying, like, you know, how mom and dads clearly show that they love each other and, like, their children can observe it and that's how you're supposed to know, like, what a healthy relationship should or shouldn't look like. You're supposed yeah, to know so, that for your kids. So and, like, I got to ask you then the, on the, this ick factor, because, because I, I think I can grant to you that, I don't know, let's say an age gap of 20 years or more, that's pretty icky, right? It's weird. It's pretty, well, it's pretty icky, right? I think it also just depends on what age people are because, like, yeah, if it was someone who was, like, 65 and someone who was, like, 20 or 19 or 18, I'd be like, yo, what are you doing with someone who is still a teenager? Do you know what the, or, like, the group is? Do you, hang on, hang on, real quick. If you're of real quick. drinking age. <clears throat> are you aware of the group that has the largest age gap relationship is LGBTQ men? Does that give you the ick? It does, because I've talked to people who are gay, and they've, like, explained so many, like... It's mainly a fetish thing. Like, I'm not going to go into, like, all the details. Yeah, we don't like, have to go into details. It's, it's, it's a bit that. of a taboo subject, but I just wanted to make sure that you were consistent, no, and I that also it, gives you the ick. mainly for that, it's a fetish thing, which is why it's so hard for me to believe genuine attraction. I'm just like, are you sure you don't just have a fetish for younger women? I get it. I just want to make sure you're consistent yeah. that that group is 5%, which is astronomical compared to any other group. You do think that that's icky, right? Yeah, and the same goes for cougars. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. I got a couple questions here. First off, I want to show this meme. Nick, if you could pull it up. The myth of consensual sex, the 30-year-old woman has to consent for them to be together. So I thought that's an <laughs> interesting meme. I do think it is almost uh, romantic warfare, because if women shame men for having this preference towards wanting to date younger women or finding younger women more attractive, uh, it secures their ability to get a mate when they are older. But I do think it is this sort of shaming tactic. I wonder how you guys would react if, for example, men large swaths of men said that women who were attracted to tall men, this is actually evidence of your incestuous 
fetishization of your fathers because when you were young, your fathers were tall, you looked up at them. And for this precise reason, women's attraction towards tall men actually has no evolutionary basis, has nothing to do with tall men are more likely to protect you, et cetera, et cetera, but actually that you have incestuous fantasies. Also, to add on to this, if you're dating somebody of your own age or around your own age, you must be having incestuous fantasies of your own brothers, right? You are incestuous and predatory for seeking out tall men to satisfy your perverse incestuous fantasies. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? I mean, yeah, when you say it like that in that instance, yeah. Date somebody your own height. (laughs) Who makes exactly the same amount of money that you do. Works in the same occupational field that you do. Drives the same type of car that you do. And has the same type of apartment that you have. All of these different things. Essentially, no two people are equally yoked is what Brian's getting at, right? And so this is going to be the case with age. It's going to be the case with looks. No two people. There's always going to be one partner who's more attractive than the other, right? There are some rare instances where they're about the same, but not mostly. Most of the time, one of them's at least a little bit better looking than the other one, right? So there's just no such thing as really, truly being equally yoked that way, right? I think you can be equally yoked spiritually, but I'm not sure that you can material. Now, I do have a question going back to you, Macy. I believe couples stay together longer if the girl is eight plus years younger than the man. My husband's eight years older than myself, and I wouldn't even mind the little bigger age gap. Actually, interestingly enough, one of the largest objections to age gap relationships is that 95% of them fail. Turns out that this stat is unequivocally false. The UK did a massive study on this where they went through the Department of Statistics, and they took every marriage which had ever occurred in the UK, and they found... No statistical deviation whatsoever between those in an age gap relationship and those not when it came to separation and divorce. Going to Macy, so you had a pretty strong reaction to even when I said if there were like uh, 19, 20, 21 year old women sliding into my DMs, I'm 35. You have strong feelings on the age gap stuff. Uh, You're 21, correct? Yes, I am. When did you start your OnlyFans? I was 19. Do you think it's less weird for a 19-year-old to have OnlyFans than for a 19-year-old to date a 31-year-old? I mean, you are correct on we're both consenting adults, but like from a personal perspective, I think it's a, it's just weird. But that's just me personally. But well, what about the doing the OnlyFans thing at such an age where... I mean, men even much older than 31 could very well be consuming your content. I don't know if you have analytics on who your OnlyFans subscribers are. I think it ranges from 25-year-olds to 50-year-olds. But so then why is it okay, for example, for a 19-year-old woman to be distributing pornographic photos to these men, but she can't have like a loving, monogamous relationship with an older man? I mean, you totally can have one. Right, but it gives you the ick. Why what? A woman, a young woman would date an older man? or the It sounds, yeah. well, I, I think I understand where you're coming from. Um, let me see if I can make sure I can make sense of it. Uh, you're saying it, the reason it gives you an, an, the ick is because you think it's a fetishization mm-hmm. of older men with younger women, right? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you say that a woman who is anomalously, is an anomaly and is like six foot ten, that most of the people who subscribe to her OnlyFans are going to be doing it out of a fetish? Yeah. Yeah, and that doesn't give you the ick? It does, but I'm getting paid for it, so I don't even care. (laughs) So in this particular case, if the younger woman is with this man based on resources, isn't that like she's getting paid for it? Yeah, and I support that. Yeah, I support that, right? <laughs> Wait. Oh, I have, a, I have a follow-up question on this. Would you have any issue with a woman who is prostituting herself to a man, like actual prostitution? So sex for money. She's 19, he's 35. She's getting money, right? Yeah, that is where you kind of cross a line. Well, it's sex work, right? But it's legal. Well, assume, assuming it's legal, let's say this is in Nevada, where it is legal. In some places. She's in the, she lives in the best. She's not a prostitute, though. Confirming don't. that it is correct, and I'm not a prostitute. It's only some places. <laughs> Assuming it's illegal, any objections? Or illegal, excuse me. I, I guess not. 
like, I don't know. Okay. If you are, if you're above 18, you're technically an adult, so yeah. you can do whatever you want, but it's just a personal thing. Pretty yes, much. but let us, let us remember, though, that money cancels ick, right? Money ick. cancels so ick. The formula is, yeah, so the formula here is ick, unless money, X amount of money, no more ick. Is that, is that correct? That's facts. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from. It's like the money to ick ratio. I don't know exactly what it would, is it like $10,000 per disgust point? <laughs> like, I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe there is no delineation point, but it does seem that X amount of money cancels X amount of ick. Mm -hmm. Low Paladin says, if I give money to Brixen, is he taking advantage of me for my resources, or am I taking advantage of him for his resources? I don't know. He does have another chat here. Shocking that the w woman who only cares about the superficial stuck in a situation ship and dating a man who won't commit to her now cares only about what's inside a person must only apply to women. I think this is directed oh, at you. Me? Do you want to say something back to Lol Paladins? Lol I mean, Paladins? I just don't understand. I I don't only care about things that are superficial. I feel mm -hmm. like I've been sitting here the whole time talking about how you should look into people's trauma and see why they are the way they are. Well, I mean, like not like look into it, obviously, but like you should. Wanna, Can you just like, keep it like bottled away? That sounded really <laughs> bad. Wait. Not what like you said or what I said. No, what I said, not oh, okay. in like a way of like, oh yeah, therapist, let's assess your trauma. But like, if she brings up something that's like hard for her to deal with, I totally just lost my train of thought. On I my... know what you're about to say. You were about to say she just shouldn't bring it up. No, that's actually not what I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure that's what you're gonna say. <laughs> that's no, why. Just don't tell me anything. Oh, I'd cry. You'd cry. Yeah, I would cry too. No, there are plenty of times where I've. <laughs> don't like, you not want to be that. married? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Although, who knows? Maybe if I, who knows what the, what my future holds. Oh, you've changed. You flipped No, I'm on still that. pretty strong on this, but you never know. Maybe Andrew, uh, to... Andrew proselytizes me or something, and Aww. and then I'll become an Orthodox Christian, and then. There you go. Don't or you know, maybe I meet a nice. Wait, no. Don't become a. Don't what? become a Christian or an well, Orthodox you do Christian. You want. Oh boy. Okay, I, I let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> Andrew's going to debate with you for two Wait, hours. Is on Andrew, that. an Orthodox Christian. Andrew is a based Giga Chad Orthodox Christian. Okay, I don't know what the rest of those first few words That's were. That's totally fine. But <laughs> speaking of which, low power.